All right, guys, so I'm about to show you all my loadout that I use. So what I like to do is I always use the AX50, right, as the sniper class. I have the 357 on there. You can virtually run whatever pistol that you want to have, but these are the most important perks, right? Cold-blooded ghost and tune-up. So only Tune-up's only good, like, if you're playing with your squad. When you play with your squad and you use tune-up, it reduces the revive time by 25%, and then ghost obviously keeps you off the radar and cold-blooded. It keeps you away from those thermals a little bit better than just being a big bright light in somebody's scope. Now for the X50, I like to put on the monolithic suppressor, the 32-inch factory barrel, variable zoom scope, Syngard, Arms Marksman, and then the 9-round magazine. Just, as you can see, it just increases the accuracy and the range. You'll lose mobility with it, but, I mean, when it comes to Warzone, I'm not out here trying to just run a sniper rifle and get crazy quick scopes and everything. Most of your sniper shots are going to be very long range to pin down people so that the rest of your boys can spray them or, or what, however y'all choose to do it. I mean, if you choose to quick scope, then that's on you. You're way better than me. I'm just not that good at quick scoping. But, um, and then the, uh, I always go between the XRK M4, which I have modified a little bit. I left the Integral the M16 and the Predator barrel on there. I believe. I can't remember actually. I haven't looked at the blueprint in so freaking long. But I think, oh yeah, I think this came with a laser. And all I did was take the laser off and put the 50 round mag on there. Because this thing just shreds people. It's extremely accurate. And then always have the same setup. Also for the lethal, I forgot to talk about this earlier. You like to use C4 for when those vehicles come up. And always, always run a heartbeat sensor. Heartbeat sensor is so key to Warzone. You can always tell where everybody's at at all times. You know, like. If you're not running it, then you're kind of just running blind. It's always good just while you're running just to peek it a little bit. As if you watch my videos and you'll see, I always randomly just check. See if there's people camping in buildings or whatnot. Because I do a lot of running. I'm telling you, like, if there was an achievement or a trophy for running the most miles, I guarantee you I'd probably get that. Alright, and let's see. What else do I do? Oh, and I have the die cast. So this, this M13 blueprint... Already, it comes with all these attachments you're already seeing on, on the screen right now. The Monolith Expressor, Tempest Mini, the Skeleton Stock Commander Foregrip, and that's it, right? There's one empty slot. So I uh, told a lot of my friends about this. They like to put an optic on there. I just I prefer the iron sights. I put a 60 round mag on there, and you could change the barrel. You know, all the barrels are good on this gun. So it, the M13, in my opinion, is probably one of the best engaging loadouts you can have. It just is so accurate, and it just lasers people. But obviously you can run Cyclone, it gives you a little bit of range, accuracy, and control. And then you have the Marksman, which gives you way more. But I, I just prefer the Tempest Mini just for the aim down, sight speed, and movement speed. Because most of the time, I, I just rush in to the people. I don't like to try and like engage distances. Like I like to just get in their faces and freak them out a little bit. So that's why I like to run the Tempest Mini. And that's virtually, those are my classes that I like to use. They're always set up the same. I always run tune up at the end, like I said, for that revive time. Granted, you can, you have other stuff like, let's see here, I might go over to Ghost, you have your Hardline, it reduces the cost of the kiosk prices, so when you buy kill streaks, field upgrades, and armor plates, it's obviously, it's 25% off, and then for here, I can't remember, I think it's Kill Chain, yeah, it, all this does is just gives you a better chance whenever you're opening your chest to just find your kill streaks in the supply boxes and whatnot, so I mean, that's cool and all but I prefer, I'm telling you tune up is the game changer that'll let you get your boys up way quicker and then whenever they're self reviving that if they halfway self revive and you just finish that off then they get to keep their self revive and you revive them in like 0.2 seconds it's insane now going into let me go into the options for controller I leave everything default right but what I do change on here is the user load behavior if no if you guys have not changed your reload behavior to contextual tap then you are just not going to have fun with this battle royale when you leave it the uh, if you don't put on contextual tap then you have to hold square to grab everything and it's just it's the worst thing possible i mean those of you who are on xbox you know x when i keyboard mouse players you guys have whatever button you choose but contextual tap is key for controller players and then what else is that the slide behavior change your slide behavior to tap do not use don't leave it get off of that that click the thumbstick and hold it when you tap it 
you already engaged the slide, you're already moving, so you just have complete full control of your aim while you're sliding. And you may think like, oh, I can do it already with just the click and whatnot, but I promise you if you change it, I'm telling you, it just changes your gunfights. You can, you can aim just completely on target the entire time. And then I like to use automatic sprint. I used to have on the automatic tactical sprint, but what I found was happening is I was losing gunfights because whenever I would go to rush up to the building, as I'm running up to it, my, my guy would do that little gun animation where he picks the gun up and holds it next to his head. So in that split second where I'm picking the gun up to run, I'm, I'm getting mowed down and just sprayed during that time. And I would go to aim and he'd have to put the gun back down into his hand and then go to aim. And just, it was kind of, it was just screwing everything up. So I just put it on automatic sprint so that I can still run. And then if I want to engage tactical, then I'll just click the thumbstick for that. Now I know a lot of people are changing their mini maps. The square mini map is way better. I'll tell you that because it gives you a way bigger map. You can see more, but I still like the mini map rotation. on. I know some people don't because they like doing the north, east, south, west, whatever. I still like the mini map rotation. Whenever I, I don't put it on the rotation, it screws me up. I, I really don't know where I'm at sometimes. Like I'm looking at it, I'm like, I can't. So when it comes to your audio, you want to use boost low, okay? I like, I still sometimes like home theater, but it does make, home theater just makes your sound effects and your guns and your explosions better, but it overpowers your footsteps, right? When you put it on boost low, everything is uh, all this background sound effects and everything are quieter, but then the footsteps are just loud. I, I can't even explain it. Boost low is the way that you'd want, want to run this. And besides that, that's virtually thing.